Hello, my beautiful Libras. How are you today? Welcome to all watchers, cross watchers, and subscribers. We're running a contest for four readings for the month of February, and we will award the prize February 1st for the month of January, okay? So here we go, Libra. We have the King of Swords energy. This is your energy coming into the reading. You're trying to stay cool, calm, collected. You're trying to heal from something. Um, we also see that you're not, you're trying to uh, not talk to your person. You feel as though you need to strategically withdraw at this time. We have your person coming in with the energy of the King of Cups, okay? So your person very much is in their feels. The Seven of Cups energy though says that they are still considering their options. This is a person who tends to hide their feelings, doesn't talk about their emotions. The King of Cups shows love as opposed to talking about it. The Death card, so Scorpio energy twice here, Libra. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. So the death card is an interesting card. So we're gonna see where this goes. Your mutual energy. What do we have for your mutual energy with your person, Libra? The mutual energy between you and your person is this very fiery, passionate King of Wands energy. Both of you are feeling pretty fired up about each other. The attraction is strong. There is a sense that both of you have missed the boat here. I get that, you know, that you're both traveling alone in this relationship. We get the death card. This may have been a breakup, you know, in the recent past. There is a desire, though, for equal give and take. There's a desire for the two of you to come together and to move forward with equal give and take. So there is there's a discrepancy here in the balance of the relationship. So what do we see for your outcome energy before we clarify? Let's see, okay, giving up on something that was very painful, you know, giving up on the idea, taking the swords out of your back. This is a person who's felt betrayal and that, you know, at the end of the day, that betrayal has made them feel as though they had to walk away. Now, this is your outcome energy for this particular time. So what else do we have for an outcome? What else do we have for Libra's outcome? Well, that's really interesting. Feeling very fired up, feeling very happy about something, feeling as though it's time to take charge of your lives respectively, and romance. Okay, interesting start. Libra, what is going on here? All right, so now let's take a look and see what we have. Why is the King of Swords energy here for our Libra friends? Why is Libra feeling very detached, very aloof, not wanting to really, you know, feel the feels too much? What's going on, Libra? You want stability. Why are you trying to heal? After something sudden that happened, a tower moment of clarity. Ah, the Queen of Swords, you broke up with this person. This person might have done something. They might have told you that they were not going to marry you or that they weren't interested in dating exclusively. The story is going to vary somewhat for both of you. But boy, oh boy, Libra, you have such great clarity. That tower moment, it really hurts when somebody, you know, this person said this to you. But I'm getting, I'm getting this person as feeling, look at that. Oh my gosh. This person loves you and yet... They're being cool, calm, collected, and very detached. They're mirroring you. Okay, oh my God, look at this. This is crazy. So we have the Queen of Wands, once again, somebody who's fiery, somebody who's sexy, somebody who likes to be out there, somebody who likes to create their own future. I'm um, getting that this person may be changing jobs I'm getting that they are feeling very sad, left in the cold, and I'm getting that they're undecided at this point about something that's going on between the two of you. 
So their energy has gone from feeling sort of smug and self-satisfied to, oh yes, there's the two of us have to work together, the death card. So I have to say, I feel as though this person most likely told you that they really weren't ready to date you exclusively and or you saw something that made you realize that this person was not dating you exclusively. It looks as though with the death card that this person made it really clear that they weren't ready to go into a deeper level of commitment with you. With the Leo energy, we do get that the mutual energy in the relationship is that you really are a great match. But let's, why do we have the Six of Swords here? This is really wanting to come together. You know, really feeling a powerful attraction, that being with each other is very exciting. You know, it's like surfing in Hawaii or, you know, somewhere else that's exotic. You know, the sensuality, the sexuality is off the charts. But why do we have the Six of Swords player energy? Yep. Somebody has to leave player ways behind and it does appear that it's this person. It does look like it's your significant other Libra. I don't think this person's willing to stop. And as a result of them not being willing to stop, you have cut them off and they are now feeling hung out to dry. And five of coins, this person miscalculated. They felt as though, you know, they could slow walk the relationship. They felt as though, you know, essentially that they could throw caution to the winds and that you were just going to hang around. But this is you, Libra. You're in your own reading. The Libra queen cuts out whatever doesn't manifest. And here we have this energy, Libra, that says you're looking to, you know, manifest love. This is your card, Venus. This is the Empress. Now, she's ruled by the planet. She's a goddess, you know, um, but she is the goddess Venus. Yep, here we go. You're, you're willing to give up on great sex, uh, you know, to have the relationship you want. Your, your determination here, Libra, both of you are really, this is your mutual energy, but both of you are very much at odds here. The Six of Swords is basically, look at this, the argument right here is very clear. One of you wants your freedom, and I get that it's definitely, it looks like it's your person, Somebody, you know, feels very much like, hey, you know, I'm really good alone. I like to be alone. I like to have romance. And, you know, there's an ending to this relationship. And that's what I'm seeing. Now your person, they overplayed their hand. That's what I'm getting. Your person really thought that you were so into them that you had already decided that you wanted to marry them. And the truth of the matter is, is your goal coming into a relationship is stated probably on a profile somewhere that you want to be married, but you really did not fall head over heels in love with this person. You know, you felt that they were a potential, but it looks as though they actually have more love for you with this King of Cups energy, and yet they're burying it in this very aloof energy. This person wants to be, this player energy is running through here because we have all this fire sign energy. And it does look like, you know, it does look like they told you something that brought the relationship. Yeah, here we have it. They told you something that felt like a stab in the back. You walked away and that ended the relationship. And now they're having remorse and regret and they don't even see the way back to you. Why is the Nine of Swords card here twice for our beautiful Libra friends? Why is the Nine of Swords twice closing the cycle? You are finished. All right, why is the Queen of Wands here? This relationship, this chapter of the relationship is certainly over. Two of Wands, okay. So the outcome says that both of you are going to look at your opportunities. You're feeling defensive. You are, st you're not ready to really give up on each other totally. I'm getting the energy that you still desire each other, but I'm also getting the energy that both of you feel as though this just may not work out, that you're at a, ro you're at a crossroads. So here's what I get, Libra. Both, you have told your person the lay of the land, 
that you're really not going to. You want what you want. You're not even giving them an ultimatum. You're not being harsh. You're just saying, look at, we might be we might want different things. And I, Libra, you know, Libra, I'm talking as you now. I, Libra, want what I want. I want a stable, committed relationship. And person, if you don't want those things, I'm comfortable. I can leave this. It's not my preference to leave the relationship. It hurts to leave the relationship. But now that I know the truth of the situation and that there's no stability because you st you would still like to keep dating other people, that I think that we have to agree that the relationship should end. Your person then goes into this feeling of a spiral downwards. They feel devastated. You know, with your mutual energy, we can see why, you know, this person is enjoying every beautiful part of you, Libra, and yet they're slow walking the relationship. But now they're going to throw caution to the wind. So I feel as though just when you're really ready to walk away, when you have come to the end of the road here, I see your per person feeling very defensive. And in that defensiveness, they make a romantic offer with this Knight of Cups. Let's see what you do with it. No, it's not good enough. A Knight of Cups offer, a Cups offer from a Knight is not going to be sustainable for you. Let's see what we have. Ah, here we go. So, <laughs> all right, this person is a bit of a gambler. You're not going to really trust them immediately because you continue to walk away after this lightweight love offer from a knight. It's not good enough. And you require the king of pentacles as the energy. And so this person comes back to you to stop you Basically, Libra, don't go anywhere. I'm chasing after you. I'm going to catch up with you. And I'm going to show you, Libra, my best self. I'm going to show you the stable self. Okay, so that's what I get. So let's look at the Moonology and see what Moonology has to say about this relationship, what you need to know. Libra, what do you need to know? Bring love into the situation. All right, well, self-explanatory. What else do we have here? So be optimistic. You know, I'm getting that. It's time to give rather than take. I think that's for the other person. That is not for you. Let's see what Spirit is going to advise you to do in this situation. All right. So this is the Oracle of the Ancients. and the ancestors, so let's see. The advice, ignite your passions, okay, fair enough. You know, let yourself have the freedom to make love and take care of your needs, really take care of yourself. A lot of self-care right now, you do feel hurt by this person, I mean, no doubt about it. Unlock the magic within you, and we can see that energy right here with the fire sign queen. So we're really not seeing spirit advising you to really do anything that's going to compromise your love for yourself. Bring love in, be kind. Spirit does not see this person as a bad person, but, you know, it really is something. You need to give them the a, f a chance to fully explain how they feel about dating in the relationship. Be gentle, but you are. Libra, Libra, you guys are. So, sending your love from Chicago. It's been a joy, Libra. Send some back and tell me where you're from.